So really want, we really want you guys to ask some questions. It's a rare opportunity to be in the, the living room of, uh, with some entrepreneurs that are approximately one year ahead of, of the, the teams here. Last year, we had Biat, Veronica, and Jan as idea champions. They went through the same um, rather tiring and challenging and exciting process that you did. Had some ups and downs. Hope you're going to share some of that. And uh, so they, it's a rare opportunity to ask them, you know, anything you want. This is a private conversation. Um, and yes, it's being filmed and broadcast nationally, but NBC and YouTube. Prime time. <laughs> but I don't think you can hear what you I say. Don't. And we won't. <laughs> And we'll we'll make sure we we don't uh, that we do keep it uh, private. We're just putting together, I think, some uh, some clips, right? But we will keep this private. So. Um, First of all, I just want to go through and give a little bit of a background for each of you as to what your product is, your football. So if we could start with Jan, what, uh, give your uh, your full name. I don't have your, your uh, Cot, Jan Cot yes, maybe, yeah. your last name and your name of your company and... I never gave you a card? No, probably not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nano Live. Okay, I've heard yeah, about this. Yeah. So you've made some progress. But first start right off with just, right. what is your football? So uh, first of all, my name, uh, Jan Kott. I'm the inventor and uh, co-founder of Nano Live. And uh, during my PhD, I had the great chance to make a fundamental discovery in physics for the next revolution in microscopy. So our product, the Cell Explorer, allows for the first time to look inside a living cell without any special preparation and completely non-invasively. So researchers do not have to guess anymore what's happening inside their samples, but they can see and measure uh, the samples for themselves. So uh, our product will bring new advantages, advantages, progress to research and development in important fields like uh, pharmaceutics, um, cosmetics, and most importantly, biotechnology. So right now, uh, we just uh, finished our first demonstrator, moved into our new office, established the company, and uh, yeah. Smooth sailing. It's just easy, yeah. right? Every day is just an easy day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Veronica. Uh, Savu. 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 All right. Hi, everybody. And let us know about your football, please, and <clears throat> what's happened in the last year. So we developed a technology course, we developed a technology that allows the integration of microstructures on master molds used for plastic replication. So when these microstructures are transferred into plastic, you uh, obtain holographic effects, such as this or such as this. So this looks like a piece of chocolate, but it's not. It's a piece of plastic that has been molded in such a mold. Um, we're targeting several markets. Our first, our entering market was chocolate, because we're in Switzerland, because we had access to develop our technology easier. Um, and we expect the first orders to beginning of next year. And now we're working um, with Can you pass it around? Yeah, sure, sure. And okay. They're worth $5,000 a piece, by the way, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, if, if you go with expensive to clients, it's not going to work. Not going to work. <laughs> um, and so our second market is plastic packaging for consumer products, um, where we bring innovative premium look to the products. And we're also looking into some functionalities-based uh, applications of our surfaces, such as anti-sticking for various um, various products and devices. So rather than a pattern, it's, I mean, it's not a butterfly or something, but it's just an anti-sticking coating. It, it can be a butterfly, um, but it helps with the anti-sticking. Yeah. So you combine the visuals with the functionality. Hmm. Um, also, you can you can think of um, instead of having a barcode that you have to stick and that you have to print, mm. um, you have alternating shiny, non-shiny um, bars embedded in the three-dimensional plastic object. Very good. So, and what's the the, the status? You you're incorporated. You're we you are made not. a we no. We plan to incorporate beginning of next year. Okay. We plan to move into new offices February first. Okay, but you have capabilities to make things somewhere. 
Yes, we're still working uh, from EPFL. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, we had a CTI, um, sorry, an EPFL Inno grant of 100,000 that allowed us to develop uh, the product for one year. We got accepted into the CTI coaching program in mm -hmm. September. Excellent. And we just won last week the second stage of Venture Kick that together brought in 30,000 uh, for business development. Fantastic. And Jan, I, I forgot to, maybe you said, are you incorporated? Uh, co yes, so actually it was on uh, Tuesday. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Yeah. So new connection, new, and have you received some funding? Uh, yeah, so likewise, uh, we had a lot of uh, prizes, you know, different uh, kind of, uh, of confirmations. You have your checkpoints for the entrepreneurial concept. You have this venture kick, you have venture leaders uh, that we all did. And uh, then you have um, from the biology side, we have one here in, in Geneva, the Bioinnovation Prize. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was, a, and also the, the, uh, the Inu Grant, and you know, there are some really basic checkpoints in the Swiss ecosystem that you can uh, run through so we made all of this and uh, yeah that's uh, where our founding initially came from yeah very good all right Biat, you have uh, you have mentioned you said you think you're a little behind where Jan well, and Veronica are, maybe but uh, why don't yeah tell let us know about we are a little bit behind probably uh, because the company is not, has not been created yet uh, first of all, we want to cure cancer. And we have Good. three antibodies that, uh, two of them uh, are directed against blood vessels. And uh, why maybe to come with, you know, with normal antibodies? Uh, the, the actual therapies often fail uh, because they develop uh, resistance. And I think we can overcome this with these new antibodies against them against blood vessels that, that block actually not only the endothelium, but block also the, what is called the mural cells around. So they really block, totally block uh, the vessels. So it's a new kind of avastin you may have come about that. And the third one is uh, against the lymph cancer, the B-cell lymphoma it's called. And this uh, antibody blocks actually growth and expansion of the, of the, of the cells. Works fantastic in uh, uh, animal models, and we have IP uh, that last year it was deposited. The examiner wanted really to de destroy it, actually, the patents, uh, as, you, as usual, and together with our patent uh, lawyer, we were able now to save to two targets and wait now for the others, and there are additional uh, uh, patent applications now uh, put in to protect the antibodies. So.